simple 4 level elevator control system, with Somatic S7300 and logo PLCs. Hello, my name is Sid Reza, and today I would like to introduce you to this 4 floor elevator, which is controlled with the three phases motor and also HMI device. The first thing I would like to mention is when this uh, elevator is uh, turned on for the first time, no matter where it is, if the car is going to be moving to the first floor. Right now I reset the PLC. And you see the car is located to on the second floor. It's going to be moving to the first floor. And when it gets there, the seven segment number is going to change from two to one. Now the car is in the first floor and it turns, it opens the door and waits to, to be called for another service. Let's say the button located uh, for, the first, for the fourth floor and as soon as it is pushed the LED turns on and off showing that there is a car here so the car door is going to be closed and it's going to be moved up to the fourth floor when it gets there, LED display is going to turn off and this display also shows that it's moving off when it gets there number 4 appears on the display and again the door is going to be open and it's going to wait for the next service let's say somebody goes inside the cabin or inside the car and wants to go to second and first floor two people so we just simply push number two and one the LEDs turn on and off saying that the car has to go to the first and second floor shortly it's going to be located there and when it gets to the second floor the LED is going to turn off saying that it's there it's going to stop there open the door wait for about 10 seconds and then close the door and go to the first floor now it is at the first floor seven segment display shows number one and this is the car door being opened and it's gonna wait and continue this sequence also need to mention that Whenever any external doors at different floors is open, this alarm light is going to be turned on and off saying that there is a, a fault in the system. One of the doors is open or something and, and this alarm is going to be kind of saying to outside people that there is something wrong is going on. As soon as we open the doors, it's gonna tell. All the activity related to the four floor elevator is gonna be displayed on this HMI device. Right now you see you see that fourth floor door is open. The card is located at the fourth floor and its door is open and PLC is in a standby mode. Let's say somebody goes inside the car and hits number 
to as soon as it is number two is hit it turns on and off showing that the card is going to be heading to the second floor the door was closed and now it's going to go to Dunstream stream. and when it gets there it stops it turns on opens the door and also second floor push button which was blinking it stops now and the door is open and if somebody from the first floor calls for service he can simply hit this number two to the push button related to the first floor and the door is closed and the card is moving downwards and when it gets there it's gonna do the same thing open the door and go to a standby mode The door is open and card is in the let's say something happens inside the the card and we want external people, people who are outside to know about this emergency. We simply hit this button. As soon as that is hit, a alarm light light on the cabin is gonna turn on and off which is actually outside the elevator system and the people who are passing by is going to be seeing this alarm condition and we hit it again it turns off if it is connected to a horn or something then the noise of the horn is going to call for attention of people who are outside the the elevator. The card is uh, uh, moving up and down by this three phase small motor which is controlled by this AC inverter, delta AC inverter. And by this equipment we can control the amount of the revolution this motor is going to make and also we can uh, make it working, running on clockwise or counterclockwise. This inverter is going to be controlled by the PLC and all these of course are going to be done with the control software which is run inside the PLC. When we want to move the car, let's say from the first floor to fourth floor, we simply when we hit number four on the HMI, the car starts, the car door is going to be closed and it's going to be automatically the three-phase motor turns on and then the car is going to move up in and it gets to the fourth floor, of course, it's going to be turned off automatically. It's going to be the same when we hit, let's say, uh, floor number one keypad then the motor is going to be running in the counterclockwise to move the car to the first floor. Let's do it.
The ebook for this title is prepared in 5 chapters and 181 pages. It explains the detail of the system hardware and software. All main control program solutions are prepared in ladder logic language for both Zomatic S7300 and Logo PLCs. You receive all these software solutions upon the purchase of the ebook and you will not need to develop any code to get the project running. If you do not have any PLC, do not be worry, you can still use Somatic Step 7 or Logo Soft Comfort to simulate our control software and still learn a lot. Chapter 1 explains the project specification, the detailed explanation of all schematics related to the system hardware implemented in this project for a PLC. The topics related to the schematic of the keypads, car sliding door mechanism, and micro switches and detail explanation of the logo hardware, and the control software prepared to control the system. Chapter 2, explains the developing process of the hardware schematic, and software generated for the Somatic S7300 PLC. Again, the whole control program is explained in every detail, to show how it is easy to implement the same system to a more advanced S7300 PLC. Chapter 3, explains how to implement a Delta AC motor inverter, to control the direction and speed of a three-phase motor, to move cabin up and down the elevator fixture. In this chapter, I show you how to replace the DC motor with a three-phase at 90 watts with a gearbox. To change the direction of the motor, from CW to CCW or vice versa, and to upgrade the ladder logic control software accordingly. Chapter 4, I explain how to implement an HMI to our project, to which can enable an operator to check the present condition of the operating machine, and if needed, impose changes in the operation of the machine at hand. I show you how to connect a typical HMI device, such as the Panel Master Model PT-070 LCD Touch Control Panel, do the setting of parameters and eventually to program it. Chapter 5, gives you some more information on technical aspects of VFD devices such as the theory of their circuitry, operation, application, and the setting of their parameters, the application of their keypad and how to interface them to a motor and a PLC. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then click subscribe, and like buttons below, and share it with your friends. Also, tell us your opinion on this video, in the comment section below.